If you've been around for a while, then you know more of our story and you know that there were three very specific reasons why we decided to take on this tiny lifestyle. We knew that ultimately, ownership would get us to our financial goals sooner than renting, but until we felt ready to settle down and buy a traditional home, we wanted to hang on to geographic flexibility. This way, we could take advantage of career opportunities that we found, no matter where they were. Aside from ownership and flexibility, we wanted a living arrangement that would later pay us instead of us paying for it. So we spent two years from 2017 to 2019 working our butts off to pay off 100% of our debts, including our little home on wheels. That brought us to this ever so interesting place in which we find ourselves today. Now what? There are a ton of options and paths for us to go down, but which one do we take? And how exactly do we set ourselves up for this home to pay us? We've considered selling outright and using the funds to put up a large down payment on a traditional home. We've also worked with some of the strongest ADU experts to see how to get our home onto land of our own. And we've considered relocating to areas of the country that already allow tiny homes as backyard villas for rental purposes. And then a new idea came to the forefront. A subscriber reached out via email and told us about something extraordinary that's happening in Newport, Tennessee, in what will soon be the world's largest tiny house community. We think. What's, What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? It's your boy Maurik and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Coat Mesa. And we are in the beautiful mountains of Tennessee mm -hmm. this week and we are going to see the largest tiny house community in the world today. Now sorry. I don't know if it's actually the largest in the world but we've been living this lifestyle for three years now and I've never seen a community quite this large yeah. so we're just calling it the world's biggest if we're wrong about that let us know. Um, don't sue us. <laughs> but yeah this place is in Newport Tennessee and there's supposed mm -hmm. to be 150 homes going in they are finishing the infrastructure now you're going to see all of that today when we go there brandy jones of incredible tiny homes is the owner operator of it yep. him and his wife amanda they seem like super sweet people we've been watching some of their videos here on youtube um, so we're pretty excited to go over there i don't think we're actually meeting anybody yeah, we're not meeting anybody we're just gonna walk the property but they said it was okay that we do that um they have people do that a lot like when they can't meet with people so and a big part of the reason we're coming out here is actually thinking about moving out mm -hmm. here so we're gonna we're excited to kind of explore all of that and the possibilities of that it's like if we can move our house onto that land and then get a second lot on that same land and put a second house then we have um, a source of rental income mm -hmm. in yep. addition to our other streams of income we got to make sure it's the right move yep. for us so When you first arrive on the property, the area immediately to the left is what's going to be used for the prairie, but we're going to come back to that in just a second. These are some of the homes that the company has already built. We told them we were coming, so don't worry, we're not trespassing. As much as we complain about people trespassing on our property. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, one of them got a yellow door like ours. It's a log cabin. I imagine there's going to be a lot of people that cover this place. A lot of YouTubers. But just know that you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how the deal breaks down. It's $6,000 up front from the resident. And in exchange, you get a three-year lease the first two years being free, and the third year being billed at $200 per month. Essentially, $6,000 over two years makes your rent for the first two years $250 a month. Now that's dirt cheap. Even in some of the cheapest states to live in, you're looking at at least $400 per month for a lot in an RV park or something similar. That's what made this deal extremely appealing to us, and we had to come out here to check out this property. Look how tough the way that is. Yeah. Back your little house in there. We got privacy. 
you still got neighbors, so you don't feel like you're totally in the middle of nowhere. This is gonna be pretty crazy when this is all said and done with. So this is the prairie area where there's gonna be, I'm assuming another 60 some odd homes, maybe even more. Looks like it's uh, one lot is the driveway. And one lot is oh, the yeah, house. Like where you see it carved out. One spot is for cars and the other spot is for the home. But this is probably the last of the three projects to be done. So this one's not nearly as developed as some of the other areas that we saw. Now this is the beach property where they're currently keeping the homes that are waiting to be moved into the different areas of the community as well as the ones waiting to be shipped throughout the country to their owners. This property is going to be lined with a bunch of different palm trees everywhere. It's going to have a roundabout street that has those same palm trees down the middle. Each lot is going to be secluded and it's going to have a parking space as well as a space for the home itself. It is going to be so cute when it's finished. I cannot wait to see it. Now that right there is the warehouse where they build the tiny homes. Now this place is about an hour east of Knoxville. So honestly, if you live in Tennessee, or North Carolina or any of the other surrounding states, this is a great opportunity for you to see a ton of different tiny houses in all different stages of construction. Ultimately, we decided to opt out even though we enjoy coming out here to see this place. The area just seemed a little bit too rural for us, more rural than what we're used to, and we were a little bit worried about our ability to find jobs in the local area. That really doesn't change anything for all of the wonderful families that are gonna have a great time living at this amazing community. It's really just a matter of personal preference for us. This is still a great opportunity for people looking for a place to park their tiny house, and you can see that there's no shortage of people that recognize that. <laughs> 